listen to me god is the giver of life okay and he has given you life through your parents he has given you life through your parents but he has also used you know many people to give you life okay to bless you to increase you to nurture you to lead to you you see it's very important that you acknowledge the love acknowledge the kindness and acknowledge the sacrifice okay the sacrifices that have been made in order to give you life you see god so loved the world that he gave okay his only begotten son so that we can have eternal life and not continue okay sacrifice think about the impact think about you know the harvest you see this is a prophetic word for somebody and you know it's not for everybody okay this word is very specific but if you was led to click on this video i want you to know that it is not by coincidence okay god is reaching you now this word is very specific this is going to be somebody's confirmation okay this is going to be the answer to a specific prayer this is going to be you know direct instructions for somebody okay this is going to be um you know a word okay for this exact moment of your life for this exact second of your life as i release this but you know if you was led to click on this it is not by coincidence okay you see the word of god brings life okay and it brings life more abundantly and you know i don't want you guys to you know take this as a coincidence or doubt the fact that this is for you you know god is reaching you directly he wants you to take the time okay you know and position yourself in that place of giving in that place of sacrifice okay in order to receive this word because it is going to you know create an impact not just on you but on many now listen to me you see i went to um sorry guys i went to my godfather's funeral okay the other day and um you see naturally in like that environment right i remember walking into um like the room was it called like the church kind of room thing and um naturally like losing somebody to the other side is it can be pretty you know hurtful you know it could be you know it, it grieves you do you know what i'm saying it, it grieves you to lose somebody to the other side it it can really um you know be a be a um it could be heavy on your heart and i remember walking into the room and you know i naturally felt you know very very sad okay very sad you know i had to hold in my tears because i could have been hysterically crying for the entire time literally i'm emotional okay i'm, I'm one of those now <laughs> listen to me but um my godfather okay he ha he um made a lot of sacrifices not just my godfather but my godmother as well and he helped so many people he raised children that were not even his own flesh and blood okay he nurtured them he nourished them he and my godmother too and the impact that he made okay the impact that was created the impact that stemmed from these seeds that he had planted that stemmed from the love the kindness and the sacrifices it was greater than what he could actually see physically because you know i personally like i have a lot of memories from when i was little with my good parents but as an adult i haven't had a relationship with them but i know that the impact that they had on my mother like my mother one of my good parents was my mother's secondary school teacher and um my mum was like the only black woman girl in her, her secondary school and she was bullied and you know she was very um she wasn't very confident and you know my godmother her name is barbara and um she she you know was 
somebody who was raising my mother, somebody who made sacrifices to give that love to my mom and to, you know, help her, to elevate her. And the success that has come out of all of these, every single one of these children that they, you know, they brought up in a way, right? Like, it's amazing because it stemmed, it's stemmed down to me as well. Like, it goes beyond the generation that they served. It goes it's eternal, do you know what I'm saying? Because it gets passed down to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. Those seeds produce a true harvest, okay? Now listen to me, okay? Don't be just so quick to um, click off this video. This is a word for somebody. And, you know, like I said, it's not for everybody. Um, it's not for everybody. Um, but, you know, if you are watching this video, God is reaching you and like, as as specific as this word is to you okay i want you guys to you know share this with a friend share this with a family member because the word of god is for everybody okay the word of god is for everybody okay and you know this is going to lift up you know the ears that hear this word okay by the spirit of the living god so do share this with um somebody but um, listen to me for real you see that funeral, God was speaking to me big time, okay? And I received deep revelation from, you know, from sacrifice and from, you know, showing love and showing love to those who are not, you know, necessarily yours or necessarily, you know, the people that you want to love, but the people that you are called to give. It's very important that you, you know, are obedient to the spirit of the living God, even when it means letting go and letting certain things die, whether they be your dreams, whether they be your desires, whether they be your wants, whether they be your needs. Because when the spirit of the living God is telling you to make a sacrifice, it brings a life, okay? It allows his will to come to pass. You see, I wouldn't be who I am today without them. And... I w I'm not going to lie, before that funeral, I didn't even acknowledge these people as somebody ha who have made such a big impact on my life. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And, you know, how prophetic is it that at funerals, right, we bring flowers, flowers to a funeral, a harvest. All of these people show up and they reflect on the impact. They reflect on the blessings. They reflect on the love, okay? They reflect on the life of this person and they bring flowers a harvest it represents a harvest it represents honor okay listen to me it represents honor they're honoring this person they're honoring the life of this person okay and you know it's sad that we wait until somebody is dead until somebody can no longer stand in front of us and receive that appreciation and receive that honor and receive that 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 blessing okay that you know is almost willfully theirs because you know the bible says that we should honor our mother and our father okay listen to me i'm cooking okay listen to me the bible says that we should honor our mother and our father okay and um we should honor the people that give us life that make sacrifices for us that you know raise us that lift us that teach us that guide us that lead us that have literally you know being a parent to us whether it is a physical parent right whether it is you know not everybody who is you know your mother and your father is literally by blood on this earth you have spiritual mother a spiritual father somebody who raises you spiritually okay somebody he, who you know not who brings um nurturing to your soul listen to me for real you see it's so sad, guys, that we wait until somebody dies to honour, okay? Um, but you need to really honour your parents, okay? You see, look at the life that you have and think about where it stems from, okay? Reflect. You didn't do this by yourself. And yes, God is the giver of life. But, you know, he used vessels. He, he, he sent. And he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, so that we can have eternal life and not perish. We can only get through to, you know, the father because of Jesus. You can't get through to the father without Jesus, without believing in Jesus. Believing in, you know, his, his, his death, his, um, his death, his resurrection and his, you know, asc ascend, ascending into heaven. Okay. 
you can't get through to the father without jesus but you also need to acknowledge the fact that you wouldn't be on this earth without your parents you wouldn't have survived or even receive certain deliverance, you know, receive certain, um, certain, um, certain things that you needed in order to get to that divine place where you met Jesus, okay, without certain people taking you there. You know, deliverance actually starts to happen for some people before they're saved by God. I promise you, before they're saved by God. And, you know, listen to me. You see, it's actually a sin not to honour your parents. It's actually a sin not to honour those who have blessed you, okay? And, you know, the Bible also says, you know, to honour your father in heaven, right? With your first fruits of all thine increase, right? It says in, um, it says in, um, Pro Proverbs 3 verse 9, it says, honor the Lord with thy, subs th thy substance and with the first fruits of all fine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Some of you guys are waiting until you have everything that you want, everything that satisfies you, everything that has, you know, filled you, that has blessed, like everything that you desire in order to go back and honor those who... Um, are blessing you those who have blessed you right some of you guys are, are blessing people that you know that you know you love you felt felt led to give to and to sacrifice for but you're forgetting to go back and honor those who brought you life do you know what i'm saying to you it's it's crazy guys and a lot of the time what what people do right okay and whoever this word is this word is this is a prophetic word for somebody people tend to you know like look at the death rather than the life look at the curses rather than the the blessings oh you did this to me you turned against me when I was saved by God. You rose up against me. You made it hard for me. You spoke these words to me. You did this to me. You did that to me. But you don't look at the, the sacrifices that they made, the dreams that they gave up, the, the, the time that they spent, you know, the things that they've done for you. Okay, you don't look at that. And that's what you need to look at. You need to always look to life and not to death because you must remember that it's a spiritual world and we do not even wrestle with flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, any death, any curses, any trauma, any um, seeds of wickedness that have hit you, that have touched you, that have been planted in you, they don't come from your parents. They don't come from a man or a woman. They come from the devil, okay? It's a spiritual world, okay? And you have to think about, you know, the attacks that they experienced in order for these seeds to go in them. Nobody is perfect. We all fall short of the glory of God, okay? We all do. Listen to me. We all fall short of the glory of God, but Jesus Christ, he died. He sacrificed his life for us so that we can have eternal life. You are still here, okay? And, you know, it's not by coincidence that you're re receiving this word. God is, you know, God has positioned you in this place to receive this word, okay? You know, to receive this word so that you can act on this word because by grace you are receiving deliverance by grace the, the living god is touching you as i release this word by grace you are receiving life and life abundantly by you know the power of the holy spirit by jesus christ and you know what he has done for you and by you know the mercy the grace that has in, that has produced faith in you to believe in him okay and so that you can re be reconciled with the father and carry out his will for your life you see i'm really listen to you God's will for you right now and God is telling me to tell you to instruct you very specifically okay to go back and honor them okay I don't know who who exactly the, the Lord is telling you to honor but it's somebody who has made sacrifices in your life okay somebody who has made it made a lot of sacrifices in your life and hear me and hear me by the spirit of the living God because you don't even know the half you don't even know what they've been through you don't even know what they've done you don't even know what it's taken for them to sit here okay even me for some of you it may be me it, you don't know what it's taken for somebody to sit and to be able to give you life 
okay, to be able to hand you life, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Listen to me, for real. You don't know what it's taken, okay? And you may see that somebody is not yet where you want to be or yet in your position, okay? And, you know, you may see that somebody still has flaws, somebody still has weaknesses. And, you know, by pride, it prevents you from honouring them. But, you know, you do realise that you going back and, you know, honouring your parents, you going back and honouring, okay, you know, those people that have, you know, raised you, you know, those people that have nurtured you, you know, whether it be physically, whether it be spiritually, you know, listen to me, you going back and blessing them, honouring them, right, also gives them life, also gives them life, okay, it touches them, it touches their soul, it is a blessing to them, it can bring them deliverance. It can release them from shame. It can release them from unforgiveness. It can release them from, you know, it will release them. I declare and I decree that I release them. It will bring them something, okay? And it will allow them to continue to have more life and to bring more life, but it will also increase your life too, okay? Listen to me. The Bible says in Exodus, um, Exodus 20 verse 12 honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord God has given thee it is a sin not to honor your parents it is a sin not to honor those who have blessed you okay don't take this lightly don't take this as oh yeah I should do it when I when I have this it's about sacrifice it's about love okay and you know do not wait until somebody is gone to give them their flowers. Like, I personally have, you know, I've been at a lot of funerals. I've lost a lot of people that I truly love. And, you know, it's sad when, you know, you wish you could have spent more time with somebody or you wish you could have given somebody this or you could have said this, right? You wish that, you know, you gave somebody their flowers when they were alive. And, you know, it's very important that um, we start to honour, we start to, you know, go back to those who have been a blessing to us go back to your parents your grandparents you know the person who made an impact in your parents life you know the people who are you know raising you now honor 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 okay guys listen to me for real honor even um even um tithing into a church or a ministry is very important okay the bible says honor the lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all fan increase so so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine some of you guys are experiencing lack in your life some of you guys are experiencing poverty some of you guys are stagnant and it's because you're waiting and you're, you're waiting for god to bless you you're waiting to have more in order to give back in order to bless but you're not even giving you know a tenth of what god has given you back to god Do you know what i'm saying to you you're not even you need to understand that God is the giver of life and, you know, he's using these people to, you know, to raise you, to pour into you, to nurture you, to bless you, to give you life. This life, the, the, this life that is operating and flowing through all of these people, it is eternal. It lasts forever. It lasts forever. It has always been and it never dies. This is the spirit of the living God. This is love. Okay? This is love. This is sacrifice. Okay, now, I hope you guys are receiving this word. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord reveals to you who you need to go back and honour, okay? You see, it's, it, it, it stems down from generation to generation and from generation. It's eternal. It's eternal, okay? Hear me and hear me by the Spirit of the living God. It is eternal. And, like, this is also a word to remind somebody of the impact that you are making right now. It's beyond what you can see. It's beyond what you can see, okay? The impact that you are making, but you need to go back and honour those who have made that same impact in your life, okay? Um, it's very important that you live a life of, you know, love and sacrifice, okay? But also go back and honour, okay? Now, I'm going to be releasing more detailed prophetic words on this, but um, I just pray that you don't take this word lightly. This is very important. You never know when somebody is going to 
you know, transition to the other side. You never know when, you know, somebody's time is up, okay, on this earth. And you don't want to regret not honouring those who have served you, okay. Now, I love you guys so, so much, okay. If you guys are led to feed into my ministry, okay, um... I encourage you guys to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord will multiply a hundred times fold and he will. Um, but please, guys, don't just, you know, take this word and forget it. Please act on this immediately, okay? Sow into this, feed into this, give back to somebody who has been a blessing to you, a servant to you, somebody who has, you know, been raising you, nourishing you, nurturing you, okay? Go and honour your parents. Go and honour your mother and your father. Fleshly earthly ones okay even if they've hurt you even if they've cursed you you break that curse do you know do you understand what i'm saying to you now please connect with this word down below share this with somebody like this video make sure that you are subscribed to my channel i do love you so much i do okay also guys i'm releasing time slots for my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls today um there's limited time slots so don't miss out you know if you guys want to you know speak to me directly um, if you want, you know, me to, you know, it's mentoring, counselling, you know, it's not for prayer, it's not for prophecy, but, you know, I will do that naturally um, as the spirit of the living God leads, leads me to. But if you guys want to book a call, you guys can do so down below by the links in my bio. Peace, love and blessings. Shalom.